Hello everybody, I'm Sing Chi, uh, MP Bahari again. Uh, today is a special day for me because I get to tour the Parliament House with a speaker, but I think he's not here yet. But uh, so I have this very cute guy. Uh, his name is Pali, uh, if I'm not wrong, Pali. So I think if the speaker is not here, then I think he will, the, 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 the lion will be the tour guide, uh, you know. So later we're going to show you a few places, like the chambers of course, and uh, I think the surroundings of the, the place. There will be some painting and art also for you to see. So if, I um, don't know, where is this the speaker? This lame one. Okay, lame. <laughs> right. It's here. The speaker. Oh, okay. yeah. We start with it. Yeah, we okay. like it. Uh, so, Hey, welcome to Parliament again. Thank you, thank you. I am glad to see you're not an MP. I am looking for my seat still. You show me right <laughs> in the chamber. Yes. Okay. I, but seat. you have no seat there. No seat. You know, right? Well, I, I, I don't sure, remember you being sure one myself. of them. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. face the camera. Face here. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Parliament on this very wet Sunday morning. Very um, wet. Okay. Anyway, we're all getting ready for the opening of Parliament tomorrow. Oh. Well, obviously, tomorrow. 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 Oh, Saturday tomorrow. Yeah. So tomorrow is the opening of Parliament. Right. So recently we just had, you know, we just had our elections, right? Yes. So obviously after the previous Parliament was dissolved, you will then go for the elections. Right. And then when the elections happen, then you are opening of Parliament, which is what's taking place tomorrow. I so tomorrow there will be a lot of things going on. Yes. So since you all were keen and we thought we share some of the so sort of background, so sort yes. of information, a little history and a bit of a I guess sharing of what will happen tomorrow, okay. today instead. Right, right. But here we are in the sort of in the hallway, yeah. and these are some of the paintings of the previous speaker. Yeah. So I'm the tenth speaker of Parliament. Hmm. So essentially, this is our first speaker. Uh, so George Oulis, as you can see from 1955. So are you interested in history? Uh, yes, a bit, a bit. A, a little bit. Uh? A little bit. Okay. So why 1955? So yeah, obviously, right. uh, the Parliament, um, I guess, is of history take over from where the British handed over to us, obviously founded in 1819, for the longest time, uh, governed by the British government based in India and the parliament in the UK. And you had a straight settlement. Mm. I know this is a bit of a long history. Yes. So we used to be part of what we call a straight settlement between Penang, Malacca, Singapore. And during those days, you have the settlement assembly. Right. And for the longest uh, uh, legislative council. So for the longest time, all the way under the war years. And after that, we became a colony in our own right. Mm. And that was still, you know, sometimes we talk about what's happening in Hong Kong and Lechko, but that's what the Legislative Council oh, is. I see. Okay. So, I but see. the key day in 1955 was when we began to have our first Legislative Assembly. Mm. And that was when we elected about 25 members into the Legislative Assembly when uh, David Marshall oh, right. was our first Chief Minister. So that was when I think that we sort of, in a way, our precursor of our parliament today. Mm. And this basically, the Legislative Assembly, continued all the way until we became independent in 1965. Right. That's when the Singapore Parliament was instituted. Okay. So we effectively counted from this point on. Right. So this hallway, as you can see, so these are all our various speakers mm. over the years. Yes. And all these paintings are here. Right. So, so I think there's too much history for me. So, so but history is important. Right? Yeah, because yeah. it provides a setting, we know where we came from. It does, it does. It charts away from where we are going. Yeah. Um, I think the, the, the viewers are also interested in Future. So okay. tomorrow, there will be a president's address also. That's right. Yeah. So at the opening of parliament, the very first order of business actually is to elect the speaker. Oh. So that we, well, it may or may not be me. I mean, I've been nominated. So a lot also depends on tomorrow. If there's someone else decide to nominate somebody else, you, technically you could also have an election. And you could choose who that speaker would be. Right. And then after that, I would be, if I'm elected, would be sworn in as a member of parliament, and then the rest of the MPs will be sworn in. Okay. Then after a short break, and then the president's address. Right. We shut up essentially what the government hopes to do in the coming term. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, I guess we can take a look upstairs. Yeah, come. come. Yeah. Is it the first time? Well, it is not the first time. It's not my first time. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 the last time now. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, there are some facts. Uh, this is the speaker's gown and wig. Uh, so the gown that I wear, this is a ceremonial gown, not very different right. uh, from what it used to be. 
but uh, obviously I don't use it. We talked in an episode yeah, talking about yes. the wig. So the wig and also the cravat, this lazy thing he wears around the neck. Uh, no longer in use yeah. since about 1994 or so. Oh, 94. Yeah. So I'm kind of glad, I guess. Okay, they're stuffy. Yeah. Stuffy, maybe a bit itchy. itchy. Maybe, I don't yeah. know. Um, but these are some of the traditions, but at least some, some elements of tradition that Yes. And this is the speaker's chair. Again, this was in the old parliament, mm. uh, just behind the meter. I think as we walk, we'll be able to see it. Uh, this was in use since 1955. Wow. So the old building, and then this, as you can see here, there's a symbol of the castle. So, so the castle, well, there actually is a speaker inside there. You can see there's a bit of a hollow. Oh, Later, yeah. I'll show you on my seat as well, same thing. Right. The speaker is in there, so, that we can, so the speaker can be here. There. The speaker will amplify the rest of the speaker. Oh, right. right. Okay. But the castle comes from the coat of arms from the previous, before it uh, became independent, part of the sort of, sort of coat of arms. Okay. Okay. And speaking of which, so we are here in the hallway. Um, obviously, as you can see, all the getting ready for the guests who might come, the security screening and so on. Yeah. And then above here. Wow. Yeah. So this was uh, designed by this person. Okay. So this is like a bit of a modern take on the dome. So you look at the Supreme Court, you have the traditional dome that we see St. Paul's and Peter's, a lot of old buildings. So ours is the shape of the prison. So this is a modern rendition of it. I see. And as, as we enter, the first thing that you notice would be the Parliament Court of Arts. Hmm. So earlier we were talking about the coat of arms, right? Yes. So are you familiar with our coat of arms? Uh, the Singapore one, <laughs> at least. Uh, so what we have here, the Parliament coat of arms essentially will be the state press, right? As well as the mains. Now, the so the mains, if you remember, right? Yes. So, but the state press, I mean, a lot of us are familiar with it, but I'm not sure we always we have really thought about what it means. Hmm. So, what do you think it means? Uh, the, the stars, I mean. Uh, well, okay, so you have the, on the left, you have the lion. The lion, that's the symbol of Singapore. Then on the right, there's a character. Why? Uh, because friends with uh, the nation. Well, yeah, so a bit of history. So there's a symbol of Singapore, and then our links, I think, previously with Malaysia. Yeah. Then obviously, Manjula Singapore, you know what it means, right? Yes. And it means <laughs> progress. Onward, Singapore. And of course, with our state press, right? We've got five stars and the crescent moon. Right. And obviously, you know what that means. Uh, uh, the five stars? Five stars. We just celebrated yeah. National Day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, it's a test for me. There's a song, the five stars. Uh, rising. rising. Wrong song. So. Uh, I think there's justice. Uh, right. Yes. Uh, peace. Yes. Uh, the democracy. Yes. Uh, you gotta help me out here. So. So democracy, <laughs> peace, yes. progress, progress, justice, justice. Equality. equality. Anyway. And the red obviously means uh, obviously, obviously means a, a very passionate, very passionate. Okay. So anyways, about universal brotherhood, equality, yes. and of course white I mean. represents purity. Uh, purity yes. and virtue. And the maze, okay, just to test you, right, since mm. you did the program, do you remember what are the symbols on the maze? What are the kind of... Wow. Uh, that's, uh, right ahead, what is it then? It's your pali, right? It's light. It's a lion. Yeah, with wings. Why, why wings? Because it is... I, I forgot. I need to rewatch the show again. So this will go onward and forward. But anyway, it's also... <laughs> watch the show again. This is a shameless plug for our yeah, shameless plug. But so the wing lion, I think, symbolizes our connectivity, I think, as an air hub. Right. But it's the lion is also carrying a trident. trident. Yes, and, I remember. And why the trident? Because it's the similar support. As a maritime, yeah, a maritime yeah, link. Yeah, yeah. And then in the body of the maze, you have symbols of? In, along the, in the maze, right, the thing that you're carrying, right. you have symbols of the lion's head. You right. also have a sailing jump. Oh. And then at the base, you have... A, a ring of waves and fishes. All right. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so that's the Thank that's you our brief uh, history. Uh, right. Here, of course, importantly, our declaration of independence. This is obviously not the original. Mm -hmm. So this was the original step in the National Archives. Yeah. In a way, this is really the proclamation of Singapore mm -hmm. when we became independent, signed by Mr. Lee Kuan Yew himself. All right. Okay, make our way up. Yes. Blue trip. I, I do. You climb the stairs often on the plank. 
you have to. I mean, we also have a lift. So obviously, uh, in the new building, this is a new building, where uh, we can place our things so that for those who are differently able to be able to move around as well. Right. So okay. here is a bit of a, a game history. I know you're not into it, but. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So anyway, Legislative Assembly, State okay. of Singapore, to Parliament of Singapore. So in a hallway, in a way, this walkway hmm. to show how we evolved from what it used to be. Okay. And all the way to where we were. And some right. artifacts okay. from before. Oh, wow. Which, since you're not interested. Oh, okay, I'm interested. Yes. Yeah. I'm so, always interested. anyway, paraphernalia from previously when it was a legislative assembly, even things like car label mm. or guests. So it's a bit like oh. the opening of parliament. Right. So the opening of the legislative assembly mm. back then. Oh, nice. Okay. Come, let's walk down. I hear there's some photos here. That Yes, you have various uh, carvings as well. Right. But yeah, so essentially, thirteenth Parliament of Singapore. The thirteenth Parliament of Singapore. Thirteenth. Yes. So this is uh, the last Parliament. Yes. So what we are going to open will be the fourteenth Parliament of Singapore. Fourteenth. Okay. So basically, what we do have is all the pictures. Was mine? So it's bigger. Oh yes. Yeah. On the speaker. Right. The right, eight right. of the legislature. I see. And basically, these are all the members from the thirteenth Parliament. I see. And why is it a second session? Oh, there's a prorogue. That's right. So if we didn't have a proroguing of parliament, yeah. basically it'd be just one session throughout that term. Right. But if you have a proroguing, then obviously prior to that, the first session, which is here, and then the second session. In between, of course, we didn't have a general election. That only happens when you dissolve parliament. Right. Then you have the elections. Proroguing is just like, remember we said a timeout, a recess, yeah. and then you have a president's address again. And so, so, anyway, so, so, so it's not necessary to have a you don't have to have a proroguing. Okay. Uh, proroguing is really something that the Prime Minister feels that you've got to take a time out, take stock, right. and also to refresh some of the agenda, and okay. I think reset again some right, of the right. objectives for the second half. I of see. That. So, I see. Yeah, so it's not, uh, you're not obliged to do that. Yeah, uh, sir, I say the war is a bit tech really. Where are you going to put the 14th? 14th? That's a good question. So I'm sure my <laughs> colleagues have worked out where to go. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so 12 parliament, you can, as you can see, mm. there's only a first session. Oh, right. So they didn't prolong. Right, right. Okay. So similar. So as you walk down, right. all the different years, mm. previously, Mr. Abdullah Tamugi was a speaker. Yes. Uh, you notice the background colors also change. I don't know why. No, oh, yeah, why? Red? I, I don't know. <laughs> and interestingly, oh, black and white. Black and white. And then color. Yeah, color. So. Oh, is this so, the, the, the time when uh, you guys shifted to. The, the, the new building. So when did we shift? I think it's 1999. 1999. Yeah. So I'm not sure whether you know there was a reason behind this. Whether right. was it because uh, previously black and white, then but during those days there was very color television yeah. and stuff like that. Right? So but I think it just so happens. Okay. But it's interesting as you move from the old Parliament House to the new Parliament House, then you begin to have you begin documenting it and presenting it in color. Right. But I'm sure there's no deep profile meaning to it. It's just okay. one of those. So as you go down, you really literally captures, I think, all the different. Oh. So Mr. Yogi Singh, mm. Dr. Yogi Singh, who was our previous speaker, in fact, one of the longest serving speaker of parliament, I think, in uh, How many possibly. Oh, I forget now. We can count, but a long time. Right. I think possibly one of the longest serving in the Commonwealth. I see. Let's go to the first one. So all the way. We go back in time. Go back in time. Will. So, Legislative Assembly. Mm -hmm. And this is Sir George Wallace, 1955. And then David Marshall, our Chief Minister. Yes. So, so this is the size then. And so, like, essentially, prior to the Legislative Assembly, we have a Legislative Council. Mm -hmm. And those days, obviously, there were very few of our members being elected and partially appointed. Right. But it was only post-war, I guess, part of the overall post-colonial uh, sort of decolonization process mm. we had in 1948, election right. of six members. Right. And then the key one was, of course, 1955, when 25 members were elected. Okay. And that's when you formed the first legislative assembly. I see. So from Let's Go, the trade settlement to the legislative assembly, and then eventually to Parliament of Singapore. Mm. Okay. See, some history for you. All right. Oh, we have a nice photo here. There's a portrait here. Yeah. Um, I'm sure. Um, you... So um, this was at the last when we prorogue yeah. uh, the last parliament, right. and then we had our opening. I I requested for PM, Madam Halima, and 
and Chief Justice to take this picture because, in a way, you know, in Singapore, so Madam President is a head of state. Yes. Uh, Prime Minister is the head of government. Mm. Chief Justice is the head of the judiciary. Right. And for myself, as Speaker of Parliament, I'm the head of the legislature. Right. So imagine head of state and then your three sort of uh, main columns that anchor all the mm. state mm. structures. Right. And I, I don't know of, uh, I've been looking, I'm sure we must have taken a picture with all four members in the past before. Right. But I thought it'd be useful to just document and yeah, take yeah. a portrait of all four of us. I see. So with this opening, we will do the same as well. Right. And I guess we should make that as a regular feature. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a question on Facebook. Question. Yeah. So Jason Chi asked, Mr. Tan Chuan Jin, sir, can you tell us the history of the Speaker of Parliament? Who is the first Speaker of the Parliament until your turn? Well, as we said, Sir George Orlers was the first Speaker of Parliament. That was in 1955. Yeah. During those days, he was not called the Parliament. It was called the Legislative Assembly. So 1955 was significant because that was when we elected about 25 members into the Legislative Assembly and David Marshall was the first Chief Minister. Mm. 1959 was when we achieved self-governance and that's when uh, Lee Kuan Yew became Prime Minister. That was also an important year because that was the year that we introduced the National Anthem, our state crest, our national flag, and we had our first head of state, um, Mr. Yusuf Bishak. Thank you. Hope that helps. A more questions. Yeah, just keep asking us. Huh? Oh, please don't. <laughs> I, won't, I cannot answer. But, uh, so if you have maybe just two paintings. That, uh, oh, before that, oh. some more history for you. Sure. This goes back even uh, way back. Wow. So obviously, uh, when we shifted over from the old Parliament House to the yeah. new Parliament House, yeah. we had to excavate the area, set the foundations, right. and these were some of the things excavated. Oh wow! Yeah. So I think for Singapore, I mean, we all know 1819. We just celebrated by something, but honestly, the history of Singapore is so rich. It extends right. all the way back, uh, at least 700, 700 years yeah. and, and beyond. Because I think wow. sometimes 700 years or so, because I think we have found artifacts that are able to date them. But clearly, the history goes way back as well. Mm. So these are some of the things that were surfaced. Yeah, like, see, for example, ceramics. Uh, you have um, artifacts include 10th century, 17th century items from mm. China, Vietnam. So even in the 10th century, there were elements of some elements of trade and people, obviously people were already here. Right. So it's a fascinating piece. And I think as a result, by Centennial, we came up with a new history book mm. that documents some of the I guess what's happened from way, way back. Right, right. Yeah. So, but here a bit more modern. This yes. is, uh, some of you will be familiar with the artist, Chia Mia Ti. Chia Mia Ti. I think if we, if you get a chance to go to the National Gallery, I really love his paintings. Right. So this was of the old Parliament House. Oh, oh Parliament House. Okay, one of the last sittings before they shifted over. And this was at the opening. So here you can see, it was the opening of the second session of the Night Parliament in 1999. Oh, wow. So, right? So, uh, President Laden was there, playing by Lan Su Kun, who was the speaker, and then Yong Pang Hao, the Chief Justice. Mm -hmm. So, similarly, right. at the opening of Parliament tomorrow, uh, Madam President will be sitting at the seat, and then, um, in fact, sorry, this is the this is the new Parliament. Oh, this is uh, the, the old one will be over there. Yeah, we'll take a look at the and old one. Uh, I will be sitting to her left, right. and then Chief Justice. Uh, Menon will be sitting on the right. right. And if you notice uh, in the galleries, previously we didn't have a glass panel. Now we have put in place a glass panel there as well. Right. So this was in 1999. After we shifted over, this is a new the new one. The new building. Right. Let's go over this, this side. So it's also significant this time around because we are actually also going to use the old parliament house. Right, yes. At the same time tomorrow. Yes. Because of the COVID-19 situation, yes, right. Right? you can't be all sitting next to each other. Yeah. So you need that spacing yeah. uh, all the way up then, plus the guests. Uh, therefore, we, will, we were not able to house everyone safely in mm -hmm. one location. So mm -hmm. we've activated the old parliament house, so, which is actually quite meaningful. Yeah. I think if I were a member of parliament, I would love to be able to swan in there. Right. Uh, yes, with the so you can see the setup a bit different. Again, also by Chua Mia Ti. Mm -hmm. uh, and this was essentially uh, Opening of the first, first session, session of Parliament. So, so in a way, the session before team does before the shift over. And right. like I said, we sat here and then they had a procession to come over to this new Parliament House right. and then ended the session. Right, right, right. You can see some of the members you'll be familiar. Mr. George Hill, 
So similar idea, but a different, a different setting. Right. Okay. And this is what we call the table of the house. Mm. So actually, when we renovated, right. uh, I was talking to our guys. I think there wasn't any specific plan because obviously we need a larger table now. Mm. Um, but I think fortuitously we decided to keep this. So right. we actually now have it here. Right. And actually, when the students and public come, something we have mock debate and and some more parliament where people play out the role, we use this. And we have now shifted it back to the old parliament house. Oh, okay. So that it can be used during the swearing in. I see. Okay. Uh, let's head over to the chambers. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wait. We have oh, a question. Question. Okay. So someone on YouTube asked, how do you raise questions or issues from your Marine Parade GRC to the parliament as you are the speaker of parliament? Okay. So that's a question that people ask. So the, the reality is that obviously in parliament, we can't raise every single municipal issues. Uh, but what I do is I raise it directly with the ministers themselves and also the ministries uh, to deal with the issues. At the same time, uh, sometimes we let our other members in the GRC also raise it on our behalf as well. So the message to all my residents in Marine Parade GRC, do not worry, even though I'm a Speaker of Parliament, your issues are raised directly at the agencies and we deal with them. And where there's a need to, we raise it with the ministers and the ministries and with all your inputs. Like with everybody else, it goes into the whole decision-making process. Because obviously as a government, we need to gather the feedback and then crunch it and then think about how best to formulate policies. So that's the role I play. And in fact, if you would, perhaps a more, I don't know if it's a more effective role, but certainly direct channel mm -hmm. to the ministries and ministers themselves. I hope that helps. All right. Thank you. Let's come. No, we are going to the, the main We are going to the chamber. Right. The highlight of the tour. Kind of. Okay. Along the way, yeah, you see that the new building operates uh, this building. Right. So it's connected by a like bridge a, of sorts. Bridge, yeah. But this building is a national monument. Hmm. So most of the building, the front block, the chamber block, and then this, I think what we call it, is a public block. This is the old one. But we incorporated it, and this used to be the Attorney General's chambers. Right. So it's been designated a national monument. Mm. And as you can see there will be the old Supreme Court. Mm. We talk about a dome. Yes. So that's a traditional dome. Right. So ours is a prism and sort of a new take on the I guess a, an old symbol of sorts. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm going closer to my seat. So, Very Parliament exciting. Chamber, <laughs> uh, there's no seat for you. Still, <laughs> thankfully, hard to say. Hard to say, sure, sure. Okay. So, so, normally when we're yeah. outside, we yeah. are wait and then we're timing and then we will come in as a sort of procession. Right. So, preceded by my Sergeant of Arms. Right. Remember, I think you interviewed my Sergeant of Arms. All right. Then you defend his uh, mace. Mace. And then we'll come in. Then we follow by my car myself. And then as we enter, essentially here, this is where you get them all, it's a speaker. Right. And then everyone has to stand, and then I'll proceed in here. Mm. So this will be, obviously we have to have a bigger uh, new parliament house, right. because we have more members. Mm -hmm. and so this is pretty much the setting. Uh, you'll be familiar with it. Okay. And of course, those are where the public galleries are. Mm -hmm. And this is the press gallery. The press, press will be there. Uh, here will be, this is where the visitors might be there. Okay, so they will be sitting here as well. Then our translators will be inside all these cubicles. Right, right, right. So for the different languages, mm. and then some of the cameras are placed on the side. And yeah. then when the red light is on, that's the camera that's being activated. Ah. So as you come in, uh, so normally here, this is where you see the, where we place the maze. So here is where we place the mace hmm. when it's in sitting. Right. So when I am presiding, uh, the mace will be placed here. Right. So during the opening itself, um, before I'm elected, the mace will not be here. Okay. Right. So okay. during the first session, the first order of business will elect the speaker. Okay. After which, when the speaker is elected, I take the seat, 
then the mace will be placed here. Okay. When the president is giving her address, the mace will not be there. Because the mace is, pretty, is a symbol of parliament and of my authority. I see. Uh, sometimes you will notice that the mace is shifted down hmm. here. It's very good, yeah. Right? And sometimes you'll find that, how come I'm not sitting there? Yeah, I'm yeah. sitting below. I wonder why. And then they'll yeah, call you a chairman. So I'm basically a chairman of the committee. That's oh. when the parliament is sitting in committee. I see. And then they'll shift it down, and then I'll be there. Hmm. And then when I take the seat again, then they will shift it back up. I see. That parliament is sitting. Okay. So, so, so this is where I tomorrow I they'll be here taking their oaths. Right. And at the same time, we also have a broadcast where we will also be doing the swearing in of the oath taking hmm. in the other side as well. I see. Okay. So a bit more complicated, but because of the situation, we have. Uh, you remember recently we had the swearing in of the ministers, right? Uh, in the Istana and mm, two yes, different yes. locations. Yes. Sort of a similar idea. Oh yeah. You can see this is seat. So yeah, let's take a take a seat. You know, <laughs> maybe not a prime minister's seat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but in the seat here, so essentially you have, um, so yep. this is where you plug in uh, your headphones and then you can choose the channel, the right, volume. Right, right. So you listen to English, you listen in the Mandarin, right. in Malay, in Tamil. Right. And I hear you have this yes, no abstention. Remember when we had a division Yes. and you had to vote? Yep. And one of the things you require is please sit at your own seat. Oh, that's right. Because when you indicate your votes, whether yes, no abstain, you'll be reflected up. Oh, so so like, when you itemize previously, of course, people had to raise their hands and then right. you record down. Yeah. Now electronically, we're able to document all this. Right. And then here you have a bit of a, sort of a speaker for them to hear. And then your mics, which please don't bend the mics. Oi. We've had the mic broken. It's not bendable. It's sensitive enough to pick up. Oh, oh, so yeah. we've had some who thought that this is a bendy mic and they <laughs> bent and then they broke it. <laughs> okay. so I wouldn't mention who, but okay, okay, okay. never mind. And this is where my clubs will sit. Okay. And then up here where my sit. All right. Because what is new, obviously, is a first uh, because of the COVID 19, we want to prevent stutter. I guess I'm not to infect if I the virus. Right. Uh, we put in place some of these measures. I see. Uh, for the swearing in, because obviously a lot more people, then we remove the specs. So everyone will be doing the mask. Oh, mask. During the sitting, uh, what we'll do is we'll put up the specs sort of barrier around where the rostrum is okay. and then the speaker can take out this her mask and then speak correctly. I see. And then we have coated it all with intro anti microbacterial whatever so that you don't need to waste uh, this all the time. So, so you, you have the seat. two seats here because of course when Madam President is sitting, right. uh, then she'll be here, I'll be there, Chief Justice will be here. Okay. Right. But this is essentially my seat here, right. not the most comfortable. You can see not there's the also the Again, the castle ah, symbol. The, the speaker is. And the speaker is inside here. Yes. And the speaker is outside. Outside and just behind the speaker. <laughs> and so, clock, there's a timer here. Right. Because uh, we'll keep track of the time. For example, during, say, budget, mm -hmm. everyone has a specific amount of time that they can speak. Right. So there'll be a countdown timer. Mm. This is where I will also vote. So when a division of labor, then I'll press and oh, activate right. the system right. so that the voting can take place. Okay. Of course, my mic, my, my mic, I can move. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one is a bit special. <laughs> special. Right? Oh, and we have then, a question. Uh, so this is to signal to my clock in case I need to speak to them or consult, and then I'll press, and then the light will come on. And come on. Okay. Question. Question. So some a student actually said that he has to sit in for long hours lectures. So, um, do you have any advice on keeping oneself? <laughs> Not only awake, but focus on this okay. session. So my MPs ask me that a lot of times because, for example, sometimes we start as early as 10 a.m. in the morning. Uh, we only have one official break, 20-minute break during the whole sitting. So you could start from 10, finish at 8, and during the course of the day, only 20 minutes. right? And of course, sometimes at the end of the day, if I have something else on or whatever, my deputy speaker might preside. But otherwise, I have to sit throughout. So yes, it's very important to stay awake. If possible, obviously, listen to the speeches. Um, so what are the advice? Hmm. The trade secret. Trade secret. So because my, <laughs> yeah, and also because I can't go to the toilet, right? You know, and, yeah, and meals and all that. So I think uh, you find different ways to keep, keep, I guess, yourself moving with your feet. So I would definitely try not to sit back because that's a very real risk of falling asleep. So I guess maybe, if you, I don't know whether it's by design, so I, the way I'm perched yeah. at the edge. And then sometimes you can do a bit of movement and stretching. 
so that, especially at my age, you get deep vein thrombosis, which is not a good idea. Um, and I think I have, I use your sweets here. Anyway, just to keep awake mm. or have coffee, if that helps. Maybe a student shouldn't drink too much coffee. Um, but there are little things you can do just to keep your blood circulating. Uh, and I'll do, to... I'll do some stretching sometimes, from time to time, just to make sure that the blood flows, stay alive. Yeah, so I think to each is own. I think the more challenging one, which people are always curious, is how do you not go to the toilet yes. <laughs> in the whole period? Um, <laughs> no, no, there's no bucket here or anything. But it's, uh, <laughs> but it's, uh, I guess, kind of used to it maybe. All the training in the army, and sometimes you got to go and walk because you're the one who can stop and push <laughs> along the way. But uh, for this, I, I, I'm, I'm quite okay with it generally, right? And maybe a tip is don't drink too much water before that or don't eat too spicy food or whatever kind of stuff. And you find that sometimes because, you know, some people say, why is this so empty? And then people are not attending. The truth is, the sitting continues throughout the whole day. And, you know, unfortunately, I have to stay throughout. But at the end of a bill, some of them will need to go out. They go to uh, as nature call. So they catch up with the lunch, uh, coffee, and then come back. Some of them need to settle some of their other speeches, research work, consult their uh, sort of uh, LA, legislative assistants. So a range of things goes on, and people are basically flowing in and out uh, where we can. And of course, sometimes there's certain moments you catch when there might not be as many people as possible, but they are flowing back and forth. Um, but yeah, so I think there are various things that we can do to try to keep awake, and it is possible. So please tell you, study hard, very important. And of course, the lesson learned is, of course, in classes, try not to keep it too long. Uh. Naturally, I think every hour there's a break. But here, because of formalities, you just have essentially one break mm. during the day. So. But Not easy, they, but doable. Can they like excuse themselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they come out and then they bow, they exit, right. and then they settle what they need to right, catch right. a bike, catch up lunch, uh, nature calls, mm -hmm. or they need to have some some meetings to discuss certain issues. Right, right. Or there are some of them are preparing their speeches. So some of them will be preparing for the India as well. I mean, nowadays we are all multitasking. Right. Uh, so I think that's that's what goes on as well. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so essentially, that's where it is. And then from here, you can take a view. The difference now with COVID-19 is they are more spaced out. Previously, they are all in general. But now, it's like some all the way up. Oh, right. Right. Because you space them out, they'll be sitting here, they'll be sitting there. Yeah. So they need to catch my eye as well. So will, will it affect the voting? No, no. Uh, so they won't be at their, at their seats, right, to vote. Yeah, so yeah. basically, we do it manually. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's pop by to the last stop. Last stop. Where is it? I wonder. I wonder too. So in here we have some of the lockers for the MPs. Right. In case you need to keep any of the things. Oh, lockers. Mm. So this is where this is the bridge that connects to the old building. Right. And so that's the, like I said, the old attorney general's chambers. Okay. What we have here, we have the library, library, uh, the deputy speaker's office, right. we have some conference rooms. I see. Yeah. We were the library, remember? Yes, I love the library. It's a nice, yes. it's a nice, cool. And here you can see this is the old Parliament House, oh, just yeah. directly behind us. Right. You know, so um, half the Parliament will be sworn in. Right. Yeah. Uh, and it's just really a. Uh, Short distance away. Mm. And so imagine when they had the last session, sat there, started the session, and then had the procession to come here, mm. and then close off. But that was quite, uh, quite meaningful that way. That's right. Yeah. All right. Of course, as you know, Victoria Concert Hall, Victoria Theatre, they all belong. So this is really at the back of the house where my office is. Oh, your office. My office. Nice. We didn't come to my office right? last summer. I think we didn't. No, we didn't go inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the holding room was first. We went Okay, so this is where uh, my secretary is. So I can intern here. You yeah. are not intern here. Okay. Yes, my I think my seat is here. No, no, that's for my secretary. Thank you. Okay, welcome to my office. Oh. So this over overlooks the river. Uh, the lion here. It's a lion, and then there's also a tiger. Interestingly enough. Oh, there's a tiger here. Yeah, this was a, a farewell gift from my guys. I was in Commander Third Division. Right. And the symbol of the tiger. Mm. And why Lego pieces? Why? Because we, well, because we were organizing National Day in 09. 
Ah. There was a project that we wanted to work with Lego about sort of like building our nation. And oh. we wanted people to use Lego to build and didn't quite we didn't quite make it happen. But so the guys thought, okay, let's give him a souvenir. <laughs> and I thought it was really quite interesting yeah. using Lego pieces to do this. Yes. And basically various bits and pieces, souvenirs from previous ministries. Hey, I thought this is the Valencia Stadium. Yeah. And it's, it's uh, not here. I thought you were No, doing. no, I didn't I didn't quite get that. Right. It's a leopard tank because when I was in G5 right. Army, you know the leopard tank that we, we use? Yeah. So I was responsible to go to Germany to shop and buy the tanks. And oh. I had to upgrade the version. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, this yeah. is some of the farewell gifts from MSF. Mm. It's like right there. It's our farewell run. My table. Your chair. My chair. I guess I can see this chair, right? Uh, if, it makes, if it makes your day, sure. It makes my day. Oh, has it made your day? Yes. No <laughs> buttons to press. No button to press. Ah, <laughs> oh, the buttons are here. <laughs> Although I hardly ever use the phone. Right. Now oh, these are all lost your mobile. Yeah. Also, oh, is this the place where you do your push-ups and all these things? Oh, I did one in my in my changing room. I have a room there where I keep my gown. Right. Then got various uh This is my last sort of event. Oh. Uh, apart from my pair of my MSF guys. I we went to run in McRitchie. You drag them all, all to run? No, no, no. I made a call out. Well, I always wanted to run with them, but just never did get around to it. So I made a call and then a whole bunch of them came. Oh. It was quite a quite a nice event. This was a souvenir from uh, my guys when being involved in the tsunami. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, this was a oh. picture. My, I went to free fall. Mm -hmm. I did jump recently uh, with our red lines, our, with our commandos. Yeah. And then at the corner, recently, right, we had our 2020 moment of touch hmm. moment thing. So I started the touch moment thing in oh, oh, 09. So it was 822, actually. Yes. Uh, why 822? I mean, a lot of people are speculating. It just so happens in the show, that was when the pledge was going to be taken. Right. So that was when we started the whole idea of. And the reason is that, you know, because a lot of us, we are not always there at the stadium or the floating platform, but yeah. this allows you to participate. And, and it's actually really meaningful in you know, 30 seconds or so as you recite a pledge. Wherever you are around the world, around Singapore at that moment, and you do it collectively as a group, it's actually tremendously, actually quite a moving experience. And many people have shared that. So it's a good tradition to continue. Great. So my God's formation, Creed, which I wrote out. Um, and they recite this at their passing out uh, at our events. You need to memorize. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, yeah. It's a long way. No, oh, it's okay. It's quite <laughs> arousing. Anyway, some souvenirs from before. All right. So come, please take a seat. Oh, we are taking a seat now. Take a seat. Yes. And have some donuts. Oh, donuts, yes. Uh, I saw your hashtag. Yeah, is come, there... come, take a seat. That's it. Uh, but I see some books here. Also. Oh, this is a... Uh, so as, my, as you know, my hobby is a photography. Right. So I did... Uh, it's my second book, actually. So ra basically raise money for charities. Huh? Mm. So you have a picture. In fact, my first opening is of Parliament. This one. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I went to the went to the EFG building across. Not directly in front. Mm. It's a public car park. Oh, you uh, But right. actually, this was actually side, on the side. So it's a bit... If you take from the front, then actually the the tree sort of uh, MBS will be sticking out of the Parliament. But you go offset a bit, actually the setting is a bit ah. less stuck. Right. That right. So that evening, actually, I wanted to take a... Because the sunsets can be quite nice in Singapore, right? But that evening, the colours weren't so dramatic. But I think in hindsight, looking at it, if you had the clouds and all that being very colourful, you know, actually, it may compete yeah, with yeah, the... Correct. And here, you have a lot of historic sites. You've got a old Supreme Court, a new Supreme Court, old Supreme Court. Right. You've got things like MBS. You've got the old Parliament House, new Parliament House. You've got the Singapore River. There's a bit more that's cropped. Mm. Uh, so a lot of the different... Key elements, I think, in the central district, civic district here. Anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, so we, we basically auction off the prints and then the books to raise money for charity. Oh, yeah. Nice. Can, can we still buy this? Uh, yeah, I donate and the funds to go for charity, sure. Donate. Feel free to No, do we so. got a question. Oh. Yes. So, there are people asking, like, um, have your family members visited your office before? Mm, yes, they have. What a question. Profound question. Yeah. <laughs> it's a capo question. Yeah, it's a capo question. Shall we eat donuts? In case you're 
Eu tem que ouvir mais? Ah, tem mais perguntas. Mais perguntas. Camila. Tem alguma pergunta para mim? Obrigado. Tem perguntas para ele, mas ele não tem donut. É muito pesado. É, é muito pesado. Vamos ver. Vamos ver. Can uh, an opposition become a speaker? Okay. Don't talk about mouthful, so let me... You don't answer answer. So I you, answer. you have answer? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the answer. I think I know. Hmm. Okay. So, um, technically the speaker doesn't need to be a member of parliament. Uh, in fact, we had a few speakers who are not uh, members of parliament. Um, could the opposition member be Speaker of Parliament? I guess theoretically possible if you nominate him and if the members elected, that's that's theoretically possible as well. Hmm. One more question. Now because AMA already, eh? is it? Ask me anything. <laughs> Not ask me, la, ask him. La. I don't know anything. Else. Okay, so there are also a few people who are asking like whether you can hold um, tours for the public to visit the parliament. We actually do. So we do it for schools, uh, community groups. Uh, you can sign up at our parliamentary website. You can participate. We have a team that lo looks at public education and we'll bring the, bring the public around to introduce them to different parts. Today we just covered part of it. The other parts of the parliament that's also quite interesting and my colleagues here are uh, more experienced than I am in, as a tour guide and they will do a far better job than I have. But if you're intrigued, I do explore. I think the main thing really is to have a bit of sense of history because I think it's good to always know the context, the background, how we evolved to get to where we are. Mm. Uh, but at the same time, I think understanding how the process works um, as we did in the last series. And I think it's having confidence about how a very important uh, sort of process that governs, uh, I think, a lot of things that happen in Singapore, mm -hmm. how it unfolds. And I think having confidence and trust in your institutions are really important. So do spend some time, um, check out, read up, so that we understand what the processes are. Not just things that people claim and say, mm -hmm. but I think be involved. So but I hope uh, I hope it's been useful. I guess we should be wrapping up. Yes, we'll be wrapping up soon. Because I need to enjoy my donut. Yeah, but thank you for, thank you for, for being here. Thank you, for, thank you for all of you for tuning in. Both on, I guess, Facebook, Instagram, or wherever it may be. Yeah, hey, I, I need, I need to do this thing. Oh, uh, um, the speaker here, okay, here, not here, <laughs> has kindly uh donated a few Pali plushies to us. So we'll be giving away this soon. So just stay tuned, and we'll give you the details very, very soon. Uh, so thank you, the speaker. Thank you. Good to see you again. Us around the Parliament House, and uh, catch uh, our live broadcast tomorrow of the opening of the 14th parliament. Alright, if there's no questions, I will continue with my donuts. Ali is going to eat his donut too. Okay, see you. Enjoy what's left of the weekend. Bye.